Hello everyone, welcome back to Sprite Rise Finance. I have shared in my past videos how Acons has been my first investment platform to start with and how much I like its simplicity and efficiency. But what surprised me was Acons adding Bitcoin to its investment options. In this video, I want to go over this Bitcoin investing option and my thoughts on whether it's a good one, who it is right for. Let's check it out. And like always, if you're new here, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and that bell icon to be notified of all such informative videos in the future and help grow this young channel. The way Bitcoin investing works in Acons is through an ETF called BITO, which is the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. ETFs generally are investment vehicles and with the money invested is actually shared across multiple holdings in that ETF. So if you're investing into some ETF like VOO, which invests into all the S&P 500 companies, so your investment into VOO would split that investment across all the companies. So instantly your investment is diversified. But with the BITO ETF, you're not actually investing into Bitcoin directly, but into Bitcoin futures, which generally tends to track the same Bitcoin price. Here, when we compare the Bitcoin price with the BITO ETF, we can see the ETF performing year to date slightly better than the actual Bitcoin, which in no way can be relied upon because this ETF was just started in October of last year. So it just has almost six months of history. Here, when we see the last six months performance, the actual Bitcoin has done much better than the Bitcoin ETF. So a difference of almost 5% is big if you ask me. But still with this ETF being the only option in Acons, we can say Acons is at least trying to do something additional to add the diversification into your portfolio. Now, how much of your portfolio actually gets invested into the Bitcoin ETF is based upon your portfolio construction. So if you are a conservative portfolio holder, 1% of your portfolio will be based on this crypto ETF. If it's a moderately conservative, that's 2%. If it is moderate, then it's 3%. And if it is moderately aggressive, that is 4%. And if it is aggressive, then it will be 5% of your portfolio. Investing into a Bitcoin ETF through Acons actually makes sense because investing directly into a crypto like Bitcoin needs one to have a crypto wallet and that has its own uh, pros and cons. But with the Bitcoin ETF, it just becomes like any other ETF that Acons already provides you with. So in that way, it's a smart choice from Acons. It keeps their structure compact and not having to break it in any way. What I liked here is Acons giving an option for the investor to opt into this ETF. So basically, this crypto ETF is not part of your base core or ESG portfolios. So if you want to invest into this crypto ETF, you have to opt into it. So giving that flexibility to the user to choose whether or not they want to invest into the Bitcoin ETF is a choice that they have to make. So when you log into your Acons account, you have an option to add the Bitcoin to your portfolio. So like we see here, there's an option given to me, which says add Bitcoin to your diversified portfolio. Then you click on that. This is further more information. Like I said, uh, it invests up to max of 5% into your portfolio. And you say, add to your portfolio, what you'll do is update your current structure and include this Bitcoin ETF as 5% of the portfolio because mine currently is an aggressive portfolio. So like this, let's say if I cancel this, go back. So my portfolio is an aggressive one, wherein 55% is into the large cap, which is basically the S&P 500, that is 55%, 10% into medium cap, 5% into small cap and 30% as the international. So if I go ahead and add Bitcoin to the portfolio, what will happen is, let's say if I add to my portfolio, click on add, here the portfolio is shown as updated. It's done. Now when I go back to the portfolio, so we can see here the large cap which was 55% earlier is now 52.25. Medium cap which was 10% earlier is now 9.5. Small cap, which was 5% earlier, is now 4.75. And international, which was 30% earlier, is now 28.5. So all the differences from each of these sides gets added to the ProShare Bitcoin Strategy ETF, which is a BITO, and this makes a 5%. So from here on, whenever I make a contribution, that can be either through a regular investment or an ad hoc investment or the roundups, whatever it can be, they get allocated in such a way that 5% of the portfolio is always my Bitcoin. But because I've just added this to my portfolio, what will happen is my initial investments from now on will always be going towards this ETF. And what Acon says it will do is at the 15th of the month, if the 5% of the Bitcoin ETF is not met with, it will do an automatic rebalance. So my holdings from other ETFs will be sold off and 
the 5% of the Bitcoin ETF will be completely made up using those cells. So here we can see the updated portfolio again, which has 95% stocks and 5% crypto. And if I have a change in my thought process and I don't want this ETF to be no longer part of my portfolio, you can always go back to the structure and click on remove. So what that will do is put my entire portfolio back to how it was before. But mind you, you have to make this change before your next investment goes in. Otherwise, uh, there'll be again buys and sells and all those things on top of that. Now coming to my thoughts on whether this should be part of everyone's portfolio, or how should they play it on that one needs to first understand whether they believe in the cryptocurrency or not yes that's a valid question because answer to that question will also answer the question that whether you're comfortable in investing into bitcoin or not my take on that question is yes i do understand that bitcoin or any other major cryptocurrency will play a role in the coming future who would have thought 30 years ago internet would be so big people would be so much connected with each other but here we are in a world where everything is interconnected, where we have a lots of information at our fingertips, in our palms, in our mobiles, and take with it everywhere. So yes, cryptocurrency will be used in the future. I'm not a soothsayer, so I can't really say whether it will be 100% or whatever, but yes, it will be in some form or shape, some percentage of it that will be playing a major role in the future. Now whether Bitcoin should be part of one's Acorns portfolio, I've always believed that few percentage of a portfolio should always be towards speculative investments, which many call as fun money. So basically your 95 to 97% of your portfolio is actually covering all the basics. It can be a simple S&P 500 ETF or a total market ETF that can also include few blue chip stocks like Apple or Microsoft or Google or Amazon or dividend seeking companies. If you are a dividend investor, the last remaining two to 3% or up to a max of 5% can be your way to express yourself, your investments into companies which you feel may not be really that big right now, but you believe in them that they will do really good in the future. So in that way, you know, even if that investment fails, it's not actually a lot of your portfolio. You're just allocating 2 to 3% of that. And if it succeeds, well, it will make you profits. So say you, if you had invested into Apple 30 years ago and had stuck with it, you'd have been sitting on a hefty fortune of almost 30,000%. So yes, what may seem wonderful right now may have been speculative back then. So what Acorn's doing here is sticking to the same formula, like allocating up to 5% of your portfolio to something that is speculative. You never know what Bitcoin will do in the future. It'll go up, it'll go down. But at least 95% of your portfolio is invested into serious investing. And this 5% is also only when you're into your aggressive portfolio. If you have any part of your lower conservative or anything, so it will be up to 1% to 4%. So yes, I do like Acorns giving that option of investing into a crypto like Bitcoin and limiting it to just 5% of the portfolio on the max. So ask yourself, are you comfortable in investing into crypto like I just said a while back? And if yes, go ahead. If you are a conservative investor, only 1% of it will be located. So you're not losing much over there. And with the simplicity that Acorns offers, you just have to set your portfolio and just run with it. Keep your investments regular and the automatic investments that Acorns does for you and the rebalancing that it does for you whenever required will just take care of your portfolio. Now coming to a question where will I add the crypto ETF to my portfolio? My answer personally is no. The reason being I already invest into Bitcoin through my BlockFi account. Here I have my investments into Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are small but still I do have some investment into these cryptos. So I don't want to add another crypto ETF into my Acorns account and make it more complicated. So if you have no exposure to crypto anywhere else and you're willing to believe in the story of the cryptocurrency, then I would suggest yes. So go ahead and add this crypto ETF as part of your portfolio and let the Acorns simplicity guide your portfolio. That's all I have for you in this video. Hope you liked this one and found it valuable. I would really appreciate if you could hit on that like and subscribe buttons and also provide in the comments what you liked about this video and what you would like me to cover in the future and I'll try my best to do. And until we meet in the next video, let's try as much as possible to be financially healthy. See ya. Bye.